Jeff Bezos, if you don't know, is the CEO and founder of the behemoth Amazon. I am a huge Amazon fan. Amazon has made my life so convenient and stress-free and has helped free up time for me to do more creative work. A while back, I read a book on Jeff Bezos, The Everything Store, and was struck by a lot of the life principles Bezos applied to his business and life, and lessons you can apply to any form in your life. Let's get started. Lesson number one, the regret minimization framework. One of the lessons I learned from Bezos was that he applies a regret minimization framework to his life. The concept is this. He imagines himself at age 80 and thinks to himself, what have I regretted in life? And he works backward. For example, when this internet thing came about, he was working at a high-powered finance job and in the middle of his bonus season. He wanted to quit his job and start an internet company. Yet if he quit his job, he wouldn't receive his massive bonus. He wondered to himself, if I were 80 years old, would I regret not experimenting with this internet thing? He decided the answer was yes. So he quit his job, at the dismay of everyone around him, and started Amazon. The rest is history. The newest thing in Amazon.com is our brand new video store. It's a full-scale video store bringing the Amazon.com shopping experience to videos online. Get any movies you want. We have uh, lots of information about the various movies so that you can really find the things that you're most interested in. Lesson. There is no such thing as living a perfect life. But it is possible to live a life without regrets. Whenever you're going to make a big life decision, ask yourself, Will I regret not doing this if I were 80 years old or possibly on my deathbed? Let this guide your life. Lesson two, avoid the narrative fallacy. When the author of The Everything Store wanted to interview Jeff Bezos for the book, Jeff Bezos pointed out a good point. Jeff Bezos wouldn't probably give an accurate personal history of himself and Amazon because we all fall victim to the narrative fallacy. We tell an easy to comprehend story of our past successes. But the problem with the narrative fallacy is that our personal history is a lot more complex, messy, and confusing than we think it is. Yet we put it into an easy to tell story. This is the problem of studying the lives of successful people. These individuals tell us about their successes, but often downplay or ignore their failures. Lesson. I would tell you to ignore all these books on how to become successful in life because nobody has the answers. A lot of these success stories can be merely attributed to luck and of course some hard work. What applies to the life of others won't apply to you. The formula for success doesn't exist. Rather, it is about you leveraging your strengths, making the best of what you have, taking risks and trying to add value to the lives of others. Don't fall victim when analyzing the stories of others, because they are all probably victims of the narrative fallacy themselves. Lesson 3. It is easier to invent the future than to predict it. Jeff Bezos applied the same concept with Amazon. When he started Amazon, nobody sold books online. There are lots of advantages to shopping online, but one of the most compelling ones is how much time you can save. Time is the most precious commodity in the late 20th century. And the fact that you don't have to drive, park, do all those things that make life complicated when you go shopping in the physical world is a huge advantage of online shopping. And it was considered strange to buy things online with your credit card. Yet instead of trying to predict what the future was going to be like, he invented it. He innovated with Amazon, with first, with books, then made it the store for everything. With Amazon Prime, Jeff Bezos did the unthinkable, made almost all the products available for free two-day shipping with an Amazon Prime subscription. He innovated with the Kindle e-reader as well as the Kindle publishing platform that made anyone an author. Furthermore, they have pushed to become a monopoly by pursuing risky ventures into making smartphones, tablets, voice-controlled assistants, TV, music, movie streaming, one-hour delivery, groceries, fashion, and tons of other things I don't even know about. Lesson, don't wait for the future to happen. If you find anything you're frustrated about in life, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Lesson four, how to make money. Many people are confused about Amazon. They think that Amazon's value is by selling things. Instead, the strength of Amazon is the recommendation engine, 
as well as the system of reviews on products. Jeff Bezos says the following. Everything we've done and all the success we have is at its root primarily due to the fact that we have put customers first. Customers are always dissatisfied, they, even when they don't know it, even when they think they're happy, they actually do want a better way, and they just don't know yet what that should be. And that's why I always warn people, customer obsession is not just listening to customers. Customer obsession is also inventing on their behalf, because it's not their job to invent for themselves. Lesson. Making money isn't just selling things or selling your time or services. Rather, you can make money in a myriad of different ways. You can create a business and make money by making the lives of others easier. Help your customers make complex decisions and give them meaning and direction in their lives. Lesson 5. The customer always comes first. One of the things that has helped Amazon become so successful is Jeff Bezos' belief in always serving the customer first. He knew that customers wanted low prices and faster shipping, so he made that a priority of the company, which prevented Amazon from turning a profit. Yet Bezos is in the long-run game with Amazon. He knew that if you did everything to please the customer, he would get customers hooked, like myself, and then build long-term value. Many businesses and individuals make the mistake of thinking about short-term profits and gains. They screw over their customers just to make a few extra nickels. Yet by always trying to do what is best for your customer, you will end up making dollars in the future. I think the best way to think about it is the following. Treat your customer how you would like to be treated. This simple ethical tenant can guide your business well. Regardless of your personal beliefs about Amazon, I feel a lot of Jeff Bezos's personal beliefs and ethics can help us in our lives. Be bold, be audacious, take risks. Don't wait for the future to happen. Create the future yourself. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insights on success and personal growth. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.